Hey guys, I'm Jenny, it's on occasion, and today we are continuing on with our Galot campaign. And uh, Ratok here, our favorite dinosaur riding dinosaur boy, is uh, is going to take out Teclas, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, this could be the last time we fight Teclas. Well, no, you can't refuse. We will be attacking you. Uh, because, yeah, apart from uh, this little crappy army over here, he's just got just some disparate crappy places left. Um, and we can just double back. Like, we can take Hexoatl and then we can just run here and take these with uh, with Ratok. And Gorok can easily take the Ziggurat at Dawn and Port Reaver. So, yeah, we're laughing, basically. So it all hinges on whether we can take Hexoatl nice and cleanly now rather than... Um, not cleanly now. So let's give it a go. Okay, so this is awesome. What a beautiful map. Hexoatl is just amazing. Just the grandeur of it all. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. Very cool. See the star chamber right at the top. And it's just, ah, oh, this is beautiful. Very cool. Big aqueduct. I do love a big aqueduct. Don't know about you guys. Big fan of a big aqueduct. Okay, you lot. Yep, perfect. Uh, you group up. You guys, I mean, you're all going to go straight for the one wall, so you know, I guess you can go into group three as well. Uh, and you can hang out the back. Good. So you guys go there, you guys go there, and you guys, um, let's see. Go there, and then... Oh, okay, fine. Be a bit annoying. Ugh, I hate that you can't see where they're going to be. I think that's got them. I think I did it. I think that should be, you know, maximum exploding times, and uh, the dinosaurs should be an ample distraction um, to avoid these guys getting shot up too badly. They will get a bit shot. I could have waited a little longer. You know, a couple of volleys is probably going to kill a couple. But uh, I think we're good. This is going to be a lot of rocks. And the Fire Leech Bowlers are actually going to be very well for us too, so... Uh, yeah, close enough. Yep, perfect. Okay, you back up. You back up. And... Yeah, let's get a chain lightning here. This is perfect. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay. Guys, yeah, come over here. And, God, how many kills you got already? 130. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Now the dinosaurs are in the house. Dinos in the house tonight. Everybody's singing. Uh, ooh. Ooh, no. Oh no, I don't like that. No, you get out of here. Oh, no, we're good. We good. <laughs> we good, guys. We good. <laughs> Flip it out. Uh, come on, Cass and Dora. I kind of want to do another. Hmm. Alright, you guys, let's just kill Tech close to bits, yeah? Good lad. Oh, no, you get out of there, boys. You get out of there. Another chain lightning. <laughs> Love it. Alright, you guys, head over here. Okay, I don't like. Don't like all the archer fire on our pterodons here. I'm not sure what else we can really do about it. Uh, only 200. It's very surprising, you know. Right, can I overcast this? I can. Good. Good. Uh, I guess just randomly, because I really can't see what's happening in there at all. Did that, did that do good? Did you do good? Maybe. Maybe you did. Yeah, let's go keep these guys moving for now. How's everyone getting on? You're doing well? Maybe. I mean, Teclis is, like, not even been touched. A lot of flocks of doom. Dooming our flocks. That won't do it at all. Alright, you know what? Why don't you guys just chase them down, okay? So this is all a bit of a mess still. Alright, you're still chilling, which is, you know, fine. There's Arch with light armor. Uh, can't overcast again, but we are about to get Arcane Conduit. Hooray. Hey, come on. Come on, me lad. Come on, I need you to drop some rocks on these bugs. That's right. 
Rock a Burke. Okay, now Teclis is refusing to die, which I'm not cool with. Because that is hurting our boy Hextock here. I don't want our boy Hextock getting hurt. Uh, these Shadow Warriors are getting pretty well hounded, but. Um, Alright, you go for them. You guys get stuck in here. And now it looks like things are going a little worse for Teclis, but wow, he does not want to go down, huh? He does not want to go down. Only 50 melee defense, too. Only 50. Right, maybe kill that noble. Yeah, that's right. Keep wasting your time with Flocks of Doom. Perfect. Perfect. And... Let's see, what do I want to do over here? Uh, yeah, Curse the Midnight Wind. Let's debuff some of these fools. Uh, let's buff our own. How is Teclis still alive? He's refusing to go down. Bloody impressive. And yeah, Ratok needs to get out of here. That's a bit of a problem at all. Alright. Uh, let's get some more of these infantry out of the way. Lovely. And, God, you guys. Die already. Okay. Come on, guys. Start smashing these guys to bits, yeah? Okay, come on. How is he still going? God, Teclis does not want to go. He does not want to go. Oh, and I think the top of the... Yeah, I think this area is bugged again. You know how we've been getting that recently? Just like the above gates doesn't seem to behave properly? Yeah, I think it's that again. Um, I'll say though, these Teodon Rides are doing pretty well. Fire Leech Bowlers are a good shout. I'm not a fan of these Lothan Seaguard over there though. They've barely been scratched. That's no fun. Okay, how are we looking? I mean, Latok's still alive, so where is that? God, so is Teclis. Just won't go down. At this point, I'm not even mad. It's kind of impressive. Okay, come on, guys. Let's move back again. Need to keep moving, keep forcing these guys to move around, basically. Ah, good, he's going down. Okay, quite a lot of the units are starting to struggle, which is great news for us. Because now it means we can start throwing uh, dinosaurs at archers. We'll stop them from just continually shooting at us. Because right now they are continually shooting at us. And that will get through us, eventually. Ooh, you know what? Let's buff all these guys. Now start killing Tacklers, please. God, he just won't go down. I'm amazed. I'm amazed how sturdy he's been. I mean, it's awful. I hate him. But I'm still slightly impressed. Uh, there's some war lions. Let's up our damage some more, cause, just because we can, basically. How are you still going, Teclis? How? Absolutely crazy. Alright, come on. Okay, you start roll up that way. You go for him. My word. Just Teclis, come on. Die already. Stupid bird. Look at this. Oh, he's just being crammed into a section of missing wall. He's being sh shoved in there. Just booted. Booted in there. It's crazy. Alright. Well, we're working our way through him anyway. We'll be through him eventually. Maybe. Another flock of doom. Another flock of doom. God. Madness. Absolute madness. Also, I noticed that our, um... Our spellcaster, I think, got killed. I don't know if he was immortal or not. So that could be quite costly. That could be costly. Hopefully he's still fine. But, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world if he died. We can get others fairly quickly. Okay. That is going to be army losses. Finally. Finally. Yeah, take that. Stupid bird. Uh, also, that's a lot of dead, huh? That's an awful lot of dead right there. 
Oh, good job, everybody. Good job. Proud of you. So, let's end the battle. Perfect victory. Okay, excellent news. So, we did lose Rickett here. We did lose Rickett. We'll have to see if he's wounded or killed. And so, this is big news, actually. Taking back Hexoatl. Wounded. So, he'll be back. He'll be back. So, we don't have to worry about that. Good. Okay, now you, lad. What can we get you? Make you quicker. That'd be fun. Uh, but I'm leadership size, nice. Extra missile resistance is pretty good. Magic resist would have been quite nice, because uh, Teclis does magic damage on that uh, on that arcane phoenix of his. Let's go the missile resist. And let's build a gold mine. Lovely. And I don't think we need that somehow. Good. Excellent. So yeah, we'll get the gold mine. Uh, we'll put up the geomantic web, I think. Probably build that up. I don't think we need walls here, do we? No. No, we don't need to build walls. So we're good. So we'll just start with the geomantic web. And we'll make our way up to um, the blessed incubator here. And wow! Upkeep minus 25% for pterodon, riders, ripodactyls, salamander, razodons, cold ones, ancient salamanders, stegodons, basilodons, carnosaurs, and dreadsaurians, so all armies. Minus 25%. That is... That is nuts. That is crazy good. Um, blessed Incubator. So within the Blessed Incubator, the beasts of Hexoatl are kept ready for the old one, uh, Itzel, to leave his mark. Cool. And uh, stellar pyramids of su the southern skies. Upon the southern horizon of Hexoatl, on the eve of the equinox, stellar pyramids will rise above the jungle canopy. Very cool. So extra winds of magic, and uh, Lord Recruit rank goes up, and research rate goes up. So again, very cool stuff there. And it's a gold mine, so yeah, Hexoatl, good city to have. And, uh, you know, it's culturally important, so that's important too. Okay. Yeah, build more things, arbitrarily. Uh, you just took Skeggy, so yeah, you can take something in a minute. So there is this, there is this noise. There's um, there's a bunch of bunch of baddies, but that's okay, that's okay. We, we've got it all set. Um, so Ashlotl is actually the most vulnerable of all of them currently, but oh well. And you're on your way over there. Yeah, you're still recruiting, so you can attack the coast, and we've given a ludicrous amount of money to um, to the last defenders, so they can hopefully remain defending. Oh, he's got tic-tac-toe. That's really cool. So yeah, we definitely want Crocgar to stay on side, because well, we just do. I don't want to lose two legendary lords. You know, from the campaign map, because the legendary lords keep things interesting. So, um... Chupiotl can upgrade stuff too. There's nothing to build anymore. We've got all the things we need. Let's just move on and see where all the Chaos Lark end up. Right, here's Tic-Tac-Toe heading to Serpent Coast. So hopefully, it means I made some good progress against Queek, but... Okay, they didn't take it. They didn't take it, so that's a problem. They just sacked it. He needs to take territory back. Even if it's full of plague, just take territory. It's just more for Queek to have to sort of fight his way back through later, you know? But yeah, currently, because they just sacked it, because they're infested with plague, they're going to be suffering horrible attrition, and the garrison's going to actually replenish quicker than... Well, quicker than they replenish because they're taking attrition. You know what I mean. They have to fight garrison all over again. Just fighting the, the garrison over and over again is going to kill them all. Although... Yeah, there's more men coming here, so I guess taking um, Serpent Coast wouldn't have necessarily helped much because Krokgar is still on his own now. Oh, Krokgar. There he goes. Ugh, plagues are just brutal. Oh, so the Awakened is back. We're still at war with them. I forgot we were at war with them again. It's easy to forget that, you know, they're just kind of like they're not really big players anymore. But yeah, we want to fight them off again by the looks of it. Because it looks like they might be headed for Skeggy, which makes sense. It's a pretty uh, robust port town in the old world, you know. So I can see the appeal. Okay, so they're going to attack Tlaxlan. Yeah, totally. I get it. It's bound to happen. But, um... Even... Mm, God, yeah, the Chosen are going to rip through us. We have nothing to fight the Chosen with. But what we can do... Actually, we do have the cross schools that could help a bit, but 
just the low melee attack means that it's very hard to get through the 60 melee defense, so they're still going to suffer quite a bit, but we might not do some damage. What I'm saying is we can't win this, but we can get rid of the hell cannons, and that's all I really want to do. So we're going to attack. Um, we're going to fight this. Big Actually, wait a minute. This isn't a walled settlement. So actually, you probably can't get rid of the hell cannons. In which case, I'm just going to auto-resolve, and that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that's the land. Got wrecked. But that's normal. Uh, and, oh, the Skaven are running off in various directions here. Like for uh, the, the Monument of Izatl here. Which is a bit of a pain. I don't like that. I was hoping they'd come straight for the Vortex areas, but apparently not. Apparently they're not keen. And that is a problem. That is a problem. <laughs> what a weird man. Um, right, yes. Fat talk. Uh, Hexawattle can look after itself already. It's got a great garrison, so we don't have to worry about it one bit. So, oh, we're not high enough rank yet. I think I do actually need to go with growth here. Until we take more territory over. Bizarre thought. Um, okay, so it's going to take us two turns to get there regardless, so I might go grab this treasure. Yeah, I'm going to grab that treasure, and then I'll head over there. Okay. So, um, it's just telling us that we complete the ritual. We did that last turn, though. The power of the ritual will rise. Those that contemplate uh, the Vortex's fate ever closer to the stars. With a firm moment in reach, the answer to this crisis will surely come. Yeah, great. And here's the shipwreck thing. So, from the crow's nest come shouts that broken masts can be seen piercing the ocean surface. The lookout has spotted a sunken ship lying in the waters amongst some distant shoals located far from inhabited shoreline. Uh, or any... No, sorry... Uh, far from... Okay, that... Is, I feel like it should say any. Far from any. Lo located far from any inhabited shoreline or any known sailing routes. It has the markings of the pirate galleon. A mysterious sunken pirate ship in this location cannot be there without good... Cannot be here without good reason. And perhaps that in, uh, reason involves treasure. A sail to the wreck, of course. And that, not even worth fighting. As always. Um... I, do I need to exterminate them? I'm pretty sure everyone is maxed rank right now, so I guess I'll just eat them. That's fine, too. Uh, another objective objective issued, uh, which is to do the next ritual, which we're already on, so don't worry about it. And we killed 3,000 um, enemies in battle, so we got our uh, uh, blessed chameleon skinks. So, sunken booty as you approach the wreckage, the galleon of the undead pirates appeared in a cloud of broadside guns and hissing black powder weapons, seeking to claim the sunken ship's treasure for themselves. After defeating the undead freebooters, you looted their galleon's coffers before sailing on to claim the salvage from the sunken ship for yourself. Uh, I'm pretty good. Plus 30 growth, all provinces. And uh, plus 10% income for all regions. That's very, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Cool. So, yep. You can get Ziggurat at dawn next turn. Skeggy, start upgrading that. Uh, these guys are on their way, so I will need to do something about them at some point. Um, Chotek is building walls. That should be fine. This guy's still being a jerk, but fine again. Uh, the Awakening, we can level up to max. Fitgrick, still chilling. Uh, this guy, I think... Uh, I could get a bunch of Blessed Chameleon Skanks. That could be quite fun to help defend. So let's do that. And, uh... Let's get him some Stegodons. That'd be enough. It's probably enough. Cool. As you can tell, I, I'm done building nuanced armies. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, whatever. We'll throw all the things in. It'll be fine. You know, why... why fuss? Um, but yeah, Washti here. This could be very, very tough for him. Um, landing over here, because you don't know what armies could still be nearby. So, um... So, well, this is our first challenge. This is our first challenge. Well... Mostly slaves. Yep, we can probably handle this quite happily. We can probably handle this quite happily. So, um, I'm going to attempt just that. I think. I mean, Vermich is going to be a pain. As will just the Warlock Engineer. It's all that warp lightning. Ugh, hate warp lightning. It, it hurts. It hurts a lot. It really does. But anyway, let's do it.
Okay, so... What do we have here? Uh... Okay... Do you guys set up over there? You guys set up over there? You set up in the middle? Let's sort of spread the dinosaurs out, I think. Ideally... Ideally... I'd like to get the, um... The Lords... Taken care of first. But... Well, it doesn't always work out that way, does it? Okay, so you... You know what? You just stand up there. Shoot what you like. We'll find you something. We'll find you something to shoot. Don't you worry about that. I don't like all the night runners. They're going to be a real pain. They take a long time to catch. But oh well. It's a beautifully scenic map, so I don't mind. I really do love this map. I think it's really cool. Some really cool details. It's these awesome ruins. It's just so scaven. So scaven. Really cool. Oh, love it. Yeah, this uh, this game has been brilliant for like sort of showing the scale of the Warhammer world. You know, no other game has really managed that. I mean, Vermintide actually did quite a good job of sort of bringing a um, like a city to life with Helmgard, but uh, with Helmgard and Uversreich, it was cool to see that stuff. But generally, you know, not a lot was. Uh, not a lot of games have really showed the sort of epic nature of like, oh, here's a city, here's another city, here's more cities. You know, check out what this world has to offer. It's it's huge. Okay, you go deal with the Death Globe Bombardiers. And I guess you keep chasing them. Uh, yeah, there's that warp lightning. Jerks. Hate them. Hate them. So yeah, you guys need to stay on them. And boop. That should help. And it does. It does help. Good. Yeah, there's a little bit of a mess though, but uh, I think we've probably got it covered. Probably got it covered. Lovely. Good job, everyone. Good job. Uh, now what are you shooting? Something. Oh, you shoot those night runners. Why the heck not? And, oh, don't do that. Jerks. Okay, nice. They're getting dealt with. They're getting dealt with. Go on, Federal Stegodon. Fight that lord. He's getting wrecked. Burbage is getting real knackered, which is wonderful to see. They're all getting terrified. Wonderful. Oh, I'm very happy about this. Okay, go chase those rattling guns down. We're going to suffer some, some pain here. Uh, so you still have your... Bombardment, so come help deal with these guys a little quicker. Okay, that should do it. I'll hold Alt and then left click to drag a, uh, a unit like that sort of way. Like this. Sort of move that glyph. You hold Alt and then move it. Really good. Kind of essential for setting up decent bombardments. Much better than trying to just sort of do it manually. Just trying to sort of stretch out the unit, you know. Works out much better. This is great, they just let us sort of have all of their most expensive units and mess with them, it's great. Uh, wow, 105 kills for you. Very nice. Ah, yeah, Bastilodon, doing great work. Okay, you run over there. You run over there. You run over there. You run over there. Yeah, people are doing well. I say people. Lizard people. Lizard people are doing well. I should chase him down. Oh. I just saw his leadership plummet. That's good news. Okay, this should certainly help. Jump into those Skaven slaves, please. Yeah, you keep chasing. You guys, you're working your way through them. So, yeah, you just shoot them, please. Thank you. Thank you. Go on. Pew. You. you can do it. Alright, how are we looking? So he's still running around. Being a pain. So we're getting to him some more. Death Globe Bombardier is still going, but the fact is, those Death Globe Bombardiers, although it's taken, you know, it's taken entire Bastilodon, it's just kept entire Bastilodon busy all this time, it doesn't really matter. Because, uh, well, they're just that scary. 
they would have done so much work if I just left them to attack us like that. So, oh, that's going to be army losses. Good news. So, yeah, the fact that we did keep them wrapped up like that, just their damage potential against an army like ours is just tremendous. So, very glad we kept them wrapped up so well. Good Bastilodon. Or was it a Stegodon? Was it Stegodon or a Bastilodon? I think it was the Bastilodon that was doing it. Got a Bastilodon to the right, Stegodon to the left. Anyway, uh, that's it. We did good. Decisive victory. Okay, good stuff. Very pleased with that. So, uh, we're going to occupy it. Because we need uh, we need some territory over here, frankly. Um, so, we do have a port, sadly. So, we can't necessarily go straight into um, uh, sort of walls and, and temples and all the rest of it. We are a bit limited in what we could build there. So, uh... Ooh, what do you want? Um, I mean, Honored Elder would be amazing. Even more public order for all provinces. Love that. It's crazy how good Honored Elder is. Um, let's go with... I mean, Rally. We'll, we'll make our way to stand your ground. I think that's the way to go. Cool. Now, please don't die ever. That sound good? Tell you what, that'll help. That'll help a lot. 66% damage resistance. That's pretty meaty. It's pretty meaty. And Administrator, so you can move faster. That'll definitely come in handy. And the Astromancer are there to keep everyone happier. Like, actually just keep everyone happier. I like that a lot. So, that should hopefully help. Good. Uh, next, uh, you want to go Scraghole? No, you attack. Go to you attack next. Brilliant. I want to take that. We'll have, uh, we'll have Queek's capital. And that is going to go a long way to beating Queek. So, very happy about that. Okay, what have you got? Oh, more walls. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And now, ugh, it's Lustria that's it's a lot of problems, but it's fine. We'll slowly, we'll slowly wear them down. It's how we do it. It's how we do it. You know, certain cities will just gonna be a bastion against anything, much like Itza, much like Itza. But um, well, Croak's not home, which is kind of sad, honestly. Sort of, he's sort of made for smoting demons, but. It's all good. Uh, right, you can now leave Hexoatl, and you can run over here and set up a little ambush, in case this person has any ideas. And uh, yeah, next turn you can go fight something. I don't care. Whatever you like. These guys, that's fine. You know, fight something. We'll take Ziggurat at Dawn, then Port Reaver next. So yeah, Lawmasters nearly wiped out. They were very powerful once upon a time. Do you guys recall? They were quite good. They were qu looking quite good for a second. Uh, these guys, though. Ah, Scafag Tooth Taker. I'm very annoyed by that. But, uh, well, Lumpia may may take Tlax. Which I think would be the worst thing. Rather than just being attacked, but... Oh, well. Uh, right, where are we going now? What are we doing? Probably nothing. I think we're just going to go to the next turn. Because we're just waiting for these guys to attack us. And running down the clock at this point. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's clever. Little sod. And they raise it to the ground. I'm cool with that, because Floating Pyramid wasn't really doing anything for me. But, uh, yeah, it means they have no more territory, so it doesn't matter. It'll still be just quick to, uh, to wipe these guys out. So I'm fine with it. Okay, so they seem to be doing alright in uh, Orion's camp for now. For now. Uh, Crocgar, though, I mean, he's screwed. Queek's up here. He is so doomed. Oh, Crocgar. It's okay, he'll be back. He's immortal. Bless him. Okay, Vessels of Chaos on the move. Over here, really? Oh, so they're going to Ashlotl, maybe. Uh, and Langsla. Yeah, they're all attacking there. Come on, just attack the ritual sites. We're going to be jerks. God, it gets me to protect all of the settlements. What a hassle that is. Alright, so he's heading to Chan Yuapek, that has a terrible garrison, frankly. Just absurdly bad. Good walls and, you know, other bonuses and some dinos in it, but, uh, well, we're going to need to do something about it. So, let's get someone... Oh, I don't know, this guy. Uh, Isotro Rismata. And Inspiring Presence for you. Good. 
And let's get you some, uh, oh, I don't know, those guys. That should do it, right? Nah, it'll be fine. I think that'll do it. Maybe. Maybe we'll get these guys too. Alright, let's get all the regiments right now. Cool. And some skinks. Done. Uh, Temple Guards can have extra armor and weapon strength. That's disgusting. I love it. The most respected of all Zorus warriors, the Temple Guard are equipped with the finest arms and armor available. Cool. Uh, Ratok is an engineer now. Which is weird, because he was just sat in an ambush just then. Not actually really doing anything else, which is interesting. That's okay. Um, okay, Ratok. You need to get down here. Start fighting things. Never. Not that absurd. Okay. So, pretty good to Swamp Town. I imagine. Okay, that. 85%? Yes. Okay, we're good. Ambush there. And hopefully, they'll run into that. It is unlikely, but I can, you know, I can hope. I can dream. And now you... Take the Cigarette of Dawn. Which actually has some nice buildings in there. So let's take that. This is mine now. Good. And, uh... Yeah, here we go. Beacon of Dawn is what we want. Recruit rank, plus one for all units, plus ten untainted, and experience gain for local armies. Is that ten, um... Tainted, like untainted, is very nice, because there's some vampiric corruption here. But, nope, that doesn't matter. So, is there actually no corruption here, normally? I thought Skeggy had local populous, like population was corrupt, but I guess not. I guess not. Because, I mean, I guess Norskans aren't actually the ones from there, are they? So, there's that. Um, oh, well. Okay, now what are you guys looking like? Uh, ah, good. Let's start getting walls on there. Monument Sun can get upgraded. So that's all of our money gone. Our income has halved since the last time we checked in, which is, you know, fine. We do have an obscene number of armies, frankly. And I guess... I guess not that many skinks then. Okay, fine. We'll get some more later. Because I'm happy just to pad that out with skinks at this point. Because we've got a brilliant backbone, some good damage dealers for, you know, targeting specific things. So just having a bunch of trash as well. It'll help get through a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the rats. So I'm happy with that. Um, so you... Really, that's a weird route to take when there's a perfectly good road right here. Huh. Alright. What do you run over here anyway? And you can ambush. I'm doing a lot of ambushes, but they're never really working. But you never know. You never know. One day, we might get lucky. Yeah, I really don't want these guys going over this way. It's very annoying. Very annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I may just have to fight every battle and just see if I can't uh, do some additional damage. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm fighting another bunch of wars over here for no particular reason. And over here as well, actually. This is sort of pointless. You know, these are two more armies that I could have on the mainland, but oh well. Oh well. Yeah, and you should probably be over in Ashlotl, huh? Yeah, you head up this way. Hmm. You know what, in one turn, I think I'll send this guy over to Quitax. So he can defend there. Because, yeah, I don't want Quitax to fall either. And nothing can really re reach Itza from here. And I'm pretty sure it's only the last ritual that I think takes 20 turns, and I think it's at turn 10, a, like, second wave of, um, of, like, invasion, you know, sort of these invading armies turn up. Uh, oh god, look at this as well. Big attack from everywhere. This is very annoying, but, oh well. Uh, so damage buildings, yep. Send the turn, move on. And they just took it, which is very stupid. Because they don't have the replenishment to have that uh, army sort of back at full strength straight away. So, thanks for that. Oh, damn. Malekith's finally rolling up. I'm actually at war with him. I need to deal with him. So I guess Gorok's going to be fighting Dark Elves until the uh, the end of time, which is a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying, that. But, got to do what we got to do. Ah, this guy's actually quite near. Yep, yep. He's saying for Dawn's Light. Ooh, and another army. Snitch, in fact. Okay, yeah, a little invasion I don't think is going to plan. 
somehow. Although you never know, we can keep up trying to, uh, you know, do these ambushes. Might get lucky, be able to whittle them down one by one. Just do some guerrilla warfare. Uh, Chotex, gone, that's fine. That's absolutely fine by me. You have it. Nope, they don't want it. Fine, I'll keep it. Whatever, <laughs> it's fine. Where is he going? In a hurry, too. Is he coming over here? They, they don't seem to know what they want. They really don't. Uh, so this, uh, I mean, I could go for the artillery, probably, with the pterodon riders, but I think there are so many slings, they weren't really going to make much of a dent. Um, yeah, I'll let them have it. That's fine. It's a pity, but we never really had the time to build these up to full strength. Or did we? I mean, the garrisons don't get that great. And yet they're attacking over here too, with lightning strike as well. Interesting. Um, this says it's actually going to be fairly close, which is novel. Yeah, a lot of their tougher units got taken out there, which is nice. I'm still not going to waste my time on these smaller battles. I know I said I'll have to fight all of them, but yeah, it's fine. I can repopulate them nice and quickly, so I'm cool with it. Although, I'm amazed they're spreading out like this. I don't seem to remember them ever taking such an interest in attacking everything. They used to be quite single-minded in stopping the ritual, but not today, huh? Not today. Not to put a dent into my empire first. Um, I guess you're going to have to go a little faster, so we'll upgrade that. You head towards Quitax. You head up this way, maybe? Hmm. And we've got this guy just loitering as well. There's nothing on this coast. There really isn't. Oh, they might be heading for the Awakening as well, actually. Hadn't really thought of that. So we'll head up this way. And you do the same. And I'll keep Mazdamundi here. Although he's actually very close to the enemies here. Ooh. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh... Once again, try and do an ambush. If these guys both attack Mazdamundi. Could he win? You know what? Probably not. <laughs> actually. I know we have a billion temple guard, but like they've got a bunch of chosen and the amount of artillery and other units they've got, like it could be no, real rough. Stop. But I don't know, maybe it'd be fine. Okay, and yes, raiding up in the north, right hassle. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Ratok. Oh, good. So you can wipe out that army and take the floating pyramid back, and then you can move on to these two. Perfect. Good. Occupy. Ooh, 12% ward save. It's not equipped, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, so now I didn't have to waste any money uh, or, you know, troops colonizing that area. I know I still got to build it up from scratch, but I didn't have to go through the ha you know the hassle of colonization, which is rubbish. Um, yeah, let's go with protection of the old ones, the magic resist. And, I mean, Gorok needs to come over here and do something about this Malekith fellow. I don't trust him. Although, look at that. He's still on a chariot. He's not on his dragon yet. So, oh, he's level 22, though. I feel like he could be on Seraphon if he wanted to be. But he's not, which is sort of weird. Uh, so two turns to get to Port Reaver. He may take, I mean, he almost certainly will take Maku Peaks. Maku Peaks has no defenses, so he'll take that, but it's fine, I'll just sweep back through. I'm not being precious about any of our, um, you know, any of our uh, settlements, because they really... They really don't matter, you know. Sure, we're losing what? We've lost three up in the north. Might lose another one up there. But we have, like, 50. <laughs> like, I think actually 50. So, you know, it's it's really not a big deal. Um, as long as, you know, the place where my gold mines and things are are safe, then it really makes very little difference to me. So, let's go attack. You attack. Getting their capital. Sounds like a nice uh, way to put a dent in them. Uh, that's actually quite surprising. The The... Auto resolve there, considering how little there is. I know storm vermin are kind of a pain, but we can blow them up with rocks. You know, quite a lot of them. Yeah, I think this should be fine. We're gonna have to fight it though. I don't trust auto resolve here, so let's fight it. Okay, so you guys move over there. All you lot are gonna charge right in. No worries, you lot. No, not you lot. You lot. Uh, you're all going to attack the walls. Dead center. Might as well. Um, 
Okay. This should do it. Okay, good. And you lot, move over here and uh, start blowing things up. Lovely. Uh, I guess you lot. Uh, I know attack that, maybe? You can't attack the gate, apparently. Why can't you attack the gate? Oh, because you're trying to do it with ranged attacks. That makes sense. Silly me. And yeah, I guess you just line up over here, start blasting what you can. And yep, yeah, doing some good damage already. Oh, let's start blowing up some uh, some rats, shall we? That was a good start. That was a very good start. Okay, now come over here, start blowing them up. So this obviously stings, you know. But it's not the end of the world. They get terrified pretty quickly, which is nice to see. So, yeah, the artillery is hurting quite a bit. Only 11 damage so far, but... Yeah, the damage is going to start adding up on these guys pretty quickly. Okay, come on, lads. Start killing them. Start killing them. So yeah, half a unit storm vermin dead already. It's, it's lovely to see. And I'm amazed they're still going. So these guys are climbing up. You guys are climbing up. Are you guys going to, or do you just want to stand there? I know what you guys are like. You too, frankly. Uh, you know what? You climb up that way. You climb up that way. Get more people on the walls. Uh, I'm just going to leave them there for now. You get involved over here. They're shattered. Perfect. Alright, back over here. Back over here. Come on. Perfect. Okay, how are things looking? Fine-ish. Hey. Good. Uh, and yep, you're the ones with the rock still. Ow. Rude. Okay, I know we haven't... Uh... Nice. Uh, I was going to say, I know we haven't touched these guys at all yet. So the rock is probably be better on the other unit, but I want to... I want to just get stuck in here, nice and quickly, you know. Well, you guys ready to push in? Because you should be. Really? You're hitting each other? Come on, guys. Yeah, you know those storm vermin. You get into those storm vermin. I'll just throw javelins at them for now. Good stuff. And oh, right, all right, cool. More clan rats summoned. Always. Come on, mate. Oh, more clan rats being summoned. They're the worst. <laughs> they're the worst. Yeah, throw javelins, please. And they're taking some big damage here. It's good to see. It's good to see. These guys are doing great. Like, these storm vermin are getting real hurt. There's just nothing to counter the fire leech boaters, but they're usually pretty straightforward to deal with, all things considered. Okay. Oh, you're taking pot shots at him too. Lovely. How many kills you got? 25. Lovely. God, 78. 60 kills. That's really good to see. Yeah, these guys get surrounded, which means they've been terrified. Excellent. That's great news. They are not going to last long. I think it's going to be army lost in a second. As soon as the first lot of javelins hits this guy, I reckon that might be it. Ooh, wow. That's a lot, that's a lot of javelins. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. That's army losses. I mean, when you look at that, how much damage we did just with javelins. Like, skink cohorts and javelins are fantastic. Skinks are great, guys. Like, skinks are really good. I use them very flippantly, but... If you actually pay attention and, you know, try and make most out of your units... Um, you know, I tend to think... I tend to do a calculation, right, when I play. I tend to go, oh yes, that can beat that. Brilliant. And then I just go for it. I always do the bare minimum. You know, but if you really try and get the most out of units like Skinks, they are brilliant flanking units. Those javelins can do just a massive amount of damage if you target the right enemies. I mean, even those storm vermin, the amount of damage you've done to them just with the javelins is so cost effective. So anyway, decisive victory. Okay, so 
Job well done. So this is mine now. So that was a good capital taken. Love it. <laughs> oh, wow. And it started with a geomantic spire somehow. And a beast lair. Hmm. Could just start spawning dinosaurs out of this place. That'll upset those pesky rats. Uh, glowing berry patches sounds nice. But uh, should probably focus on defending this place first and foremost. Okay, what else you got for me, mate? Can you be, uh, could you just, just jump to level 20 so I can make you immortal, please? No? Alright, well, it's worth a try. Um, jungle domination makes Saurus warriors and temple guard better. I mean, yeah, got to, right? Got to. Cool. Alright, now how are you doing? Get in there, I suppose. Alright, let's go with all the javelins. Screw it. Let's go nuts. Cool. And I guess I'll get something else for you. I mean, I could go with more Pterodon Riders. Because Pterodon Riders are a lot of fun. And they're very good against Gaven. Because you can just target what you want. You know? They're very handy like that. So yeah, screw it. I'll go with six of them. This is a silly army, and I love it. It'll actually really help with these guys. Especially in Sieges. Pterodons are wonderful. Just put them above the walls, and drop your bombs. And you're laughing. Um, no, we already got that. Already got those. Oh, I've got that. There we go. Get some favelas. Everyone loves a good favela. So hopefully, Mazda will be able to get an ambush. But, you know, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Fitkrik is on his way. He's got a cracking army. Love it. Uh, Chotag's just gone. There's no way. Like, Chotag's gonna get wrecked. It's fine. You know, I'm cool with it. Um, you're on your way over there. You can get high ground on the Monument of the Moon, and then that'll be the end of these pesky elves, finally. But, more, even more pesky elves with much, much wider access to armor-piercing missiles, which is not something Lisbon enjoy fighting, um, but still, you know, it makes it a bit of a boss fight at the end, which is lovely. So, uh, oh, that's a point. Yeah, I could get, uh, here's some interventions. Kind of an ear tain, but I just doubt we'll make a dent. I feel like he's got the whole area on lockdown. It's just going to be... It's just going to be um, Tyrion and all of his homies. But, oh well. Okay. So he's not attacking Naku Peaks. Right, he's going for the Monument to the Sun. Which is actually kind of a cool move. To make it seem like we're going for Maku Peaks. But he's actually going for the harbour. That's, uh, that's clever. That's a clever way to invade, I think. You know, bit of a bait and switch. We shore up the defences in one place, he attacks somewhere else. And somewhere else where he can then get more troops in. Um, so yeah, this is obviously going to end terribly. So you guys go nuts. There you go, back back. Back back's back with a vengeance. And Deathmaster Snitch as well. It's a bit of a pain, that. Definitely a bit of a pain. Oh, and he's on March stance, huh? So this is a pain, because now if I try and ambush, they can gang up on me with two armies. If they see me, which is a problem. Uh, okay, so Chotek getting attacked. Uh, I mean, this army is ridiculous. Just, what are they thinking? Their front line is Sirens, which is weird. Yep, you have it. Go nuts, mate. Oh, they just decide to sack it. Now what are you doing? You guys are weird. Oh, now they're taking it. Okay. Okay, Vessels of Chaos. Ah, oh, didn't fall for the ambush. They didn't see it, but they're just going a different route. So that's a pity. Where's Festergax going now? God, they're all headed north. Like, they're going nowhere near. This is the weirdest thing. I, I, have, I don't think I've ever seen such disinterest from, uh, from the sort of invading army. I've never seen them go out of their way to attack just, like, other stuff. Which is actually amazing. You know, it, it leads to a lot more um, uh, difficulty, frankly. Like, you, you have to think strategically. You can't just sort of exploit the AI because you don't know exactly what the AI are going to do, which is something that games like this always sort of fall into. But the fact that they're really just going out of their way to just ruin my empire is, uh, is really good. You know, you've really got to work to stop them, which I think is great. All right. Um, God, we could really be putting Master Muddy at risk charging him in here. But we'll see. We'll see. 
Yes, I know. More settlements lost. It's all fine. Uh, let's see. What's the range on these guys? Pretty terrible because of all the rivers, which is good to see. But we're going to have the same disadvantages, frankly. Because, yeah, these guys see me. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble if they decide to attack. Like an awful lot of trouble. Yeah, even with this army. I know. It's crazy to think. But, yeah, you know, just the hell cans be able to shoot until they run out of ammunition. And that's going to hurt. And Chosen are... They're not simple. And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of Chosen. <clears throat> like, as many Chosen as I've got Temple Guards. They'll also be able to just, like, cycle charge me with Chaos Knights and... You know, wait a giant in there, they got the chariots. Mm. Yeah, these are these are tough armies. These are tough armies. In a siege, easy. So have my towers shoot the hell cannons and everything just dies as it climbs ladders. Not a problem. But, uh, yeah, open field here. Could be a bit of a nightmare. So I'm just going to leave him there. Continue the ambushes until I get some reinforcements up here, such as this guy. Should be a giggle. You know what, you had to... Quit out. Because I think I might be throwing away a lot of these troops just repopulating places. Which, you know, fine. It's fine. They can serve, uh, you know, more than one purpose. Uh, ooh, could they get over here? You know, probably not, actually. Yeah, they were probably good if we just moved there. But I don't like these chances, these guys' chances anymore. We have three pretty, pretty meaty-looking armies here surrounding them. It's just, you know, if they attack on mass, they can still do a ton of damage to us. This guy is being a real pain, but I think Spectre Zoom is probably a bit sturdier, right? Yeah, Spectre Zoom can probably finish them off. Or Ratok, Ratok could finish him off, but uh, he's busy right now. He's still with all these guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Still got the hay fever, guys. Still got the hay fever. It's not been too bad today. It's not been too bad today. But that's why I haven't taken any antihistamines, because, yeah, I don't like to take them every day. Okay, come on, you. So, yes, now I'm now I'm feeling sniffly, which is very annoying. It's had that, like, tickle in my nose this whole episode. It's very irritating. Uh, right, we're going to have this now. This is mine. Thank you. And more more sacred plaque librarians. Always. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, and then I think Gorok is going to be heading up this way now. Because he needs to go teach Malekith a lesson. Which is a bit of a pain. But, you know. Unlikely. So be it. But yeah, all the, all the North Illustria here. It's getting really devastated. By just a ton of, ton of enemies. But it was a bit of a weak area. This area. So, you know. It's still the most newly conquered. So, it's bound to be a little weak. Uh, but over here, in the Southlands, what are we going to do about Snitch and Backpack, huh? What are we going to do? So, we still got walls building. So, you could come over here and ambush, with a very high ambush chance. So, I'm going to try. And if these guys run towards me... I think the only reason he can reach this far is because of March stance. So, or maybe not. Maybe he's got really good, you know, they can run a real long way. But uh, I think we've got to risk it. We've got to risk it. Or else this invasion sort of pointless. If we lose this army, fine, we'll build another one. But uh, I think he can do okay. This guy now. So yeah, Queek went up this way. So actually we are free to take the Temple Avenue of Gold, which is hilarious. So we'll come take this. This is important to take now. You know, nice and early. Because, uh, well, there's a gold mine in it. So, can't go wrong. Uh, God, our income is atrocious right now. I know I said, like, losing some, some of the property doesn't really matter. But, like, it does add up eventually. But, uh, yeah. We're still rolling in military. <laughs> we have such a huge army left. It's ridiculous. Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, seven, eight. Is it eight full stacks? I think it's eight full stacks and a half stack. Which is sort of disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, let's get uh, the Corral Arena built, because I want to start getting, uh, well, just even more nonsense. 
If we can just start getting armies just full of ancient stegodons, then yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I will be very cool with that. And oh, Zyutek. So I think I will send someone up here to save Zyutek if uh, it can last one more turn. Which it might, it might not. Commandment available in Settlers Coast. Oh, that's cool to see. Let's go with Growth and Public Order. And I think that's it for the turn. So, I think we'll call that for the episode as well. Oh, actually, he needs to move. So I need to make the decision. Am I going to go fight Skaven or not? Because I could have Gorok land in the Monument Moon and finish them off. And then, you know, path back up this way. Which might actually be better for us next turn. So, I'll have Ratok head south. Because yeah, if, if Ratok could actually babysit some of these areas, um, like while we're regrowing them, as it were, you know, once we deal with these guys. Because ideally, I do want to get these built again. Um, you know, get them started before the, the next um, ritual begins. Hmm. In fact, I wonder, are we about to defeat these guys before the ritual's done? Because, like, they're just not... They're not exactly rushing to come attack us, are they? It's kind of weird, but oh well. Um, right. I think we can move on then. So yeah, we will call it here. Although I want to have a quick look in Skeggy. What's your deal? Uh, you can actually build walls. I just can't um, afford them right now. Hmm. Okay, well we're going to call it here then, guys. So we'll, uh, we'll come to Head of Master Mundi to end it. So, next episode, maybe then we'll defeat all of these horrible chaos invaders that right now have just been doing a great job of being a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> so, you know, good on them, I suppose. It's good to see the AI being a proper nuisance for once. It's kind of cool. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.